we ta- we're eating a pizza here and okay, this tastes good. And now I want to fucking, you're throwing anchovies on this part of the pizza. that makes it very <clears throat> hard to, to digest. You know, you, you just put anchovies on my pizza. You know, we were having a nice dinner, me and you, we're having a good time here and you're, I can take a couple bites. I'm, I'm into the pizza and now you're throwing, now you're throwing anchovies on it with some electrified airship shit, airship. Are you done? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Welcome to history class, fucker. But interesting enough, that's downtown Chicago as well. Look at the detail. And that beautiful obelisk in the back right, back left corner, which is also an antenna, right? Everything gathering ether and the beautiful energy that's all around us. That's what these buildings were doing. And that's why they had to get rid of a lot of these. Look at the detail in the land. Look at that. Just absolutely remarkable. And look at that building right in the back. That's all crystals, right? That's all crystal glass, stained glass, because when you create sound frequency inside these stained glass buildings, you generate energy. Because you get yeah. the beautiful ether that's all around us. I am the highest version of myself. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the highest version of myself. I am. I know I am that I am. Hey everybody, welcome to the Godspeed Podcast. I'm your host, Joe Guy. And I'm Dan Eats Everything. <laughs> What's going on? How are you doing today? Oh, doing so good. Today I went and had some dim sum. Dim sum. Dim okay, some delicious that. dishes. What's dim sum? Dim some delicious dishes. All right. Uh, is it dead animals or is it you know? Yeah, there's there's definitely meat in them. Uh, it's a lot of. So here's the thing. Meat, dead animals aren't meat. Meat is what you find in fruit. They've corrupted it and started calling dead animals meat. So you don't even eat meat. You eat well if you eat fruit, you eat meat. God's, anyway, God go Godspeed. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So I had a lot. Um. I had a lot. I had a lot, a lot. I one Good. might say it everything. All right, all right, that's okay. Did you but, eat some fruit there while you're there? No, no, because restaurants don't sell fruit. Because restaurants want you unhealthy. Have you ever been to a Jamba Juice? They sell fruit. That's not a restaurant. Potato, potato. Best friends. Till or, what? or you would say, uh, tomato, tomato. You don't see, oh, best till friend. the end. I guess I could have guessed that. Is that Daisy? Yeah, it's me and Daisy. You're the skull. You died. <laughs> Someday. Okay. I mean, are you, are you, are you gonna live forever? I'm de aging. Huh? I'm de aging. <laughs> I feel. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Year- hold on. Huh? Huh? What? I feel. I feel twenty years younger than I did last year. I'm basically eighteen. You don't think I'm telling the truth here? I mean, how you feel is subjective to you. So how would I even disprove that? That being said, de aging. <laughs> Yeah, you're getting older. I'm getting younger. Well, um, I don't know what the fuck we're doing here. You're okay. You're going. You're getting younger. Yeah. You aren't you Epstein's wet dream? No. Oh, sorry. Too soon. I was hoping you'd go with. I mean, that's not any better. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say Benjamin Button disease, but Brad Pitt's a pit stop too, so I guess it doesn't really matter. You're talking about pit stop? Yeah, you didn't see the Chrissy Teigen tweet where she said, I feel so... Uh, she said, I feel so uh, guilty or some shit. Brad Pitt just put a pizza on my chest. 
or some shit like that. I don't know. It was weird. Anyway, and then she deleted all of her tweets. I didn't. That's not um, what this episode is about. <laughs> we're getting in the weeds, bud. Yeah. Uh, so what's new with you besides your uh, your animal eating? Uh, not much, man. I did watch. I, I watched Putin's interview today. Have you seen anything on that? Putin sounds like a fart. Putin. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we talked about this. I know. <laughs> I'd be Putin all over the place sometimes. Um, I have not watched it yet, but I was sent it. Oh. And I will watch it. Two hours. Uh, first 30 plus minutes are Putin giving Tucker Carlson a <laughs> a deep dive in the history of Russia, which I mean, great Tartaria. Well, for for most people, right? For well, for most Americans, the history of if Russia starts around uh, what the early 1920s, late 1920s, around around Nazi times, right? We, we as Americans can't think prior to that. Most of us. So, um, but little did we know, or I, little did I know, Russia was around long before that. And a lot of things happened in Russia previous to that. Yeah, it was called Great Tartaria before Russia. I don't know anything about that. You well, might. Today maybe, you'll learn. Maybe you and Putin can chop it up for a little bit. Um, but anyways, so there's, and, that, and then he kind of uh, actually talks about you know, things that have happened with him and the American government and, you know, pretty much says that he understands that, uh, you know, Ukraine is is a shell for uh, the United States and acting on their behalf and yada, yada, as we all know already. So. Um, yeah, Putin, Putin says a lot of things about the West, but we don't hear about it because he speaks in Russian. Right. But it's it's, you know, and obviously uh, you, you take everything. He says with a grain of salt because he is. Uh, I kid. trust him more than our leader. I, I I trust him the same as our leader. You know. Uh, I trust him more than our leader. Uh, you know. Anyways, uh, I I do believe a lot of the things that he said during this interview, and uh, you know, it is what it is. We'll see what happens. What do we What do we got today, Joe? Today we're gonna to be talking about Great Tartaria. I'm we're just kidding. That'd be that'd be such a coincidence. But we are gonna be talking about the Tartarian Empire, which is what Russia used to be. Okay. In most of Asia, actually. Um do you see this picture on the screen? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh where do you think that is? Um Washington DC. You think that's Washington DC? Yeah, yes, I do. That's yeah, I've been out of there. all the cities in the world with that kind of with uh, with architecture that looks like this. You wouldn't say Rome or Moscow. Gr- yeah, like I th- I figured that's what you would guess, and you said Washington D.C. Yeah, I know, but I, was... I get it because Washington has a tons of tons of buildings that look like that. Right. Because because they're from the same time period. Um, that's Chicago. Oh, cool. Awesome. That's that's Chicago. Okay. Cool, man. You're not impressed by that? I mean, all right. I've never been to Chicago. I don't like bullet holes in me. So. So this is also Chicago, and this was the uh, what is what was it called? The Columbian. Yeah, the Columbian Exposition of 1893. So all these photos I'm showing you right now are of Chicago. Do you remember seeing any of those buildings ever in your life that are located in Chicago? I've never been to Chicago, buds. We just talked about this. No, no, no. But in movies and pictures in random videos anywhere, no. these buildings, have you ever seen them in Chicago? Look at all that water, too. They had a fucking gondola. Well, and that's, have... not in it. that's not in Italy. That's not the Chicago River? No, I'm talking about it's in the middle. Look, it's like going in between everything. There's another angle with the with the statue I just showed you, and there's a ship. So there was a World's Fair okay. where they built all of these magnificent buildings, these statues. Everything that you're seeing right now 
was built in two years. They built all of it in two years. 63 acres worth of these kinds of buildings in, in two years. Isn't that magnificent? That's a walkway, a moving walkway. That thing moves. What what years was this happening? What years was this? 1893. Bro, that's possible. We hadn't we hadn't we hadn't abolished slavery yet. You can make people work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Again, the first power tool. The first power tool was 16 pounds. Yeah. It needed multiple operators. Mm -hmm. They were horse and buggy, supposedly. Horse and buggy. They didn't have the technology. Based on what we're told, they didn't have the technology. I'm not saying they didn't have the technology. I'm saying based on what we're told, they didn't have the technology to build this kind of stuff. And that's a moving walkway that went all around the fair. Okay. This is the St. Louis World's Fair. Do I really want... I've. Do they still have World's Fairs? I'd like to go to one. No. What's your favorite no. fair food? Oh, they st- buddy. Oh, my God. Dude, no. I mean, back. remember going to the New York State Fair back in the day? I went to it this past year. Yeah, I'm talking about back in the day when you didn't eat just fruit. Fruit meat. I remember. <laughs> what was your favorite fair food? Fried, fried dough. Like the the long ones from the 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 A framed pizza. It was like a funnel pizza, cake. Pizza free. Pizza free. It was like that a, one. It was like a funnel cake mm. kind of thing. With the powdered with, sugar. Uh, pro- powder. With processed powdered sugar, yes. Powdered sugar all over the top. Yeah. Uh, are we done? You're not, you're not gonna ask me. <laughs> <laughs> D, what was your favorite food from the fair back in the day when you used to go to it? <laughs> the, which one the new york state fair or the uh san diego county fair they're the same they sell the same food no they don't no they don't they don't have G- gianelli's you can't, animal right you sausage can't, you can't get gianelli in san diego you can't get a lote in in uh in new york state well the new york state fair they didn't sell it uh, New York State Fair, they had that deep fried anything tank, like tent or pop up. Um, How about I just say blanket, whatever fair you want to pull from, go for that. I'm going to keep it real simple then. <laughs> okay, I'm, sh- I'm sure you will. I forget the go name. Of, I forget the name of it, but there was this. Um, there was a, it was these like it was steak and mashed potatoes. At this one place at the New York State Fair. And oh my God, it was fantastic. It was so good. Oh, and you can get mushrooms with it too. It was steak, potatoes, and mushrooms in this bowl. And it was, oh, dude, I could literally eat that every time I went there. But deep fried Oreos are bomb. And then in uh, San Diego, the elote. Elote in a cup. Oh, man. Anyways, I'd like to go to a World's Fair. I bet you they have some good food there. They don't have World's Fairs anymore because they, they already de- they already destroyed all the Tartarian buildings that they needed to destroy so they can fake your history. Well, this just took a turn. This is the St. Louis World's Fair. And apparently, all these World's Fairs that popped up, a lot of them were in America, actually, all over America and you can't find the only time you find these buildings is if you're looking at churches government buildings they basically hijacked these free energy buildings and Tartarian buildings and turned them into banks sometimes a library sometimes a college university but they had these world's fairs supposedly they built all of these buildings in two years and six months later they closed the World Fair and knocked all of these buildings down with dynamite, with just destroyed these buildings. Why? Why would you take two years to build 60 plus acres of land? Most of them were that big just to knock them down six months later. Because you wouldn't because the buildings were already there. 
What did I say in episode four? When you see a building that says founded in, it's because they motherfucking found it. They didn't build it. <laughs> Here's a video. That's, that's one of my favorite things from you, man. They found it. They didn't <laughs> found it. They found it. Like it was there and they, they found did. it. They did. They didn't found it. They found it. Here's a video. This oh, is the St. Shit. Louis. This is the St. Louis World's Fair. All right. Sprinkle it on me. 1903. All right. Nin- this building was apparently built in 1903. Okay. He's okay. going to tell you. History that we have been force fed since day one and rip it right in half. So here we go. The photo description states that in the summer of 1903, construction continues inside the entrance to the Palace of Machinery for the Louisiana Purchase Exposition. The 1904 World's Fair. The date of this photo is in 1903. The fair in St. Louis was in 1904. So this would all make perfect sense, except there's a massive flaw. A flaw so big that it's undeniable proof that this building was constructed 100 years before the 1903 date that we are told. And proof that there was a mud flood that ripped through this building at some point after 1803. Where is the foundation of this building? Incredibly detailed construction projects do not take place on top of dirt and garbage. This, in my opinion, is the most incredible photo that I have ever seen to this point. A lie right in our faces saying that this was being built in 1903 when we have multiple dates of 1803 time stamped right on the building multiple times. Not only that, but you can see that the mud flood damaged the bottom of this building here. The mud came after the construction, not before. And I want to make that point very clear. This is a cleanup project, 100%. After this World's Fair, they knocked these buildings down, not because they were pathetic, but because they held dates that do not fit in our mainstream timeline and architecture that we cannot reproduce today. It's incredible. I've been talking to many people, engineers, construction workers, architects, and more about this photo. They are telling me that this is undeniable proof. And at this point, there isn't an excuse in the book that could save the mainstream history. It's time for everyone to wake up to the nonsense that we have all been force fed to believe. What do you think about that? Oh, that was interesting. (laughs) Uh, That was interesting. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I mean, why, why would they, why would they put that date on the building? Excuse me. Exactly. (coughs) Why would they put that date on the building? Exactly. No, it I'm was asking, built in 1903. I'm not. I'm not asking you. A, like I'm genuinely asking, you, why would they put that date on, date on the building? Because it was built in 1803. Okay. It wasn't found, not. It wasn't founded. Not, it wasn't founded in 1803. No, it was founded in 1903. Oh, why would well, it was a hundred years later? Why wouldn't they put 1903 on the building then, if they found it? Because then? it was built in 1803. And they're telling us it was built in 1903. They, all these buildings I'm showing you were already there. And they had these World's Fairs to bring the public in, show them it one last time, tell them that these were all brand new built. They came up with spray paint, a brand new spray paint at this point, And they, that's where the term whitewash came from. They literally spray painted all these buildings white so nobody knew how old they were. Why wouldn't they just demolish them? Because they have to tell us. Why? To get our permission. If we don't question it, then we get they got our permission. Well, I'm questioning it right now. They don't have my permission. They didn't question it back then when they brought all these people in and said, hey, these are brand new buildings. Check them out. Look at all this crazy technology that we have. And then they destroyed them six months later. Do you, Would you look at all look at all this architecture, dude? That This is from the video we just saw after it was already cleaned up. Look at all this crazy architecture. It's pretty that wild. was built that was built in two years and then they just destroyed it six months later. Look how, how look how tall it all is. Like why are you putting all that detail into these buildings if you're gonna destroy them six months later? Because they used to be Tartarian buildings. And they're energy buildings. Like a lot of these pillars you see on the left here, they turn. Like they're energy gears, kind of. You know what I mean? No, I don't. 
I don't know what an energy gear is. <clears throat> so these pillars will turn. Like, I don't know if these specific ones turn, mm -hmm. but a lot of these old buildings like this, like there's videos of people turning them and shit. Like they were made to turn because the, the tops of all these like uh, big domed buildings mm -hmm. with the obelisk coming off of them, those are energy harvesting buildings. They just basically shut down the free energy. That's why when you see churches and stuff like that have the <laughs> the glass like you'll see say you'll see sacred geometry symbols like in windows and stuff and then they have the the colorful glass mm -hmm. stained glass yeah because those sacred geometry symbols are actually energy harvesting in a lot of these buildings they had to demolish because they don't fit the history that they want to feed us you know does that make sense like like this is St. Louis. All the all these buildings and shit are St. Louis. Hmm. None of that is in St. Louis right now. Like that looks like Italy or Rome. Right. Like and there, there's another gondola. <laughs> like oh, it's 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 nuts. It's just crazy. Like none of this exists anymore. There's one building in San Francisco that's still there. And it's the it stands out like a sore thumb. Here's San Francisco right here. Like, look at these statues and shit. You're gonna build those for two years and then knock them down six months later. It's because America. I tickle my throat. <laughs> it's because America was was populated before. Before we stole land, before any of that bullshit story that they came up with, America was populated. And there's the baby incubators again. That's what the that's where the incubators were. They were in the world's fairs. That's the building in San Francisco that's still there. That's the only one that's still there. It just it doesn't make any sense. And that's huge. Like if you stood next to that, you'd barely be able to see yourself in the picture from that angle. Look, that's San Francisco. Why would you knock all of that down? To have a place for the homeless to, to shit on the streets? <laughs> exactly. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Um, none of it makes any sense at all. Like crazy fountains, crazy statues. Look how big these World's Fairs are too. Like all of those buildings you're building just to knock down six months later. I've said that numerous times. I'll stop saying it. Um but yeah, there's that building from back in the day that's right. still there. <clears throat> they knocked all these other ones down around it. It's very odd. I'll give you that. It's very strange. <clears throat> and this is this is between eighteen like eighteen sixty and nineteen twenty. And that's when from episode four, all the orphan trains were repopulating these cities and like Yeah, dude, it's just fucking bonkers. It's 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 absolutely bad shit. It doesn't make any sense at all. You're from upstate New York, right? I am. <laughs> you know right, this. We're gonna <laughs> we're we're gonna stop with the pictures. Um, You're not gonna make me read, are you? No. <laughs> I would never do that to you. You're so sweet. <laughs> all right. This is well. I'll just let him tell you. We can see. The people are walking around on something that's absolutely remarkable. I mean, look at that. This is this is Buffalo, New York, 1901. You know, just stunning architecture. And this all has a frequency. You know, we've talked a lot about this with frequency, resonance, fractals, all of these materials, you know, all the, the copper that the was background. used. Every statue on top of these buildings had copper. Every angel on top of these buildings had copper. You know, and then you start to wonder, well, copper's only 1% of the soil. Where were they getting it all from? So Buffalo, New York, look at that fountain right there, you know, right in the middle. Just, you know, keeping the water intact. And then this is, this is New York, Buffalo, New York, 1901. You know, this was the sustainable buildings that people were, you know, temporarily building. That's what they were telling us. You got right there, there's more water. And see how the, the society who was building these because I don't I don't believe that you know they were horse and wagon time at that time but the society who was building this look at how much they cherished water I mean there's so much water and fountains and all of this 
And then you go to the next one, which you have a Coliseum in Buffalo, New York. You know, a picture I don't think many people have seen, which is interesting. You know, do you have this, and that, that can be energy. Is this, is this the World's Fair? This is the World's Fair, yeah. yes. You ever see any of that shit in Buffalo? Then shitty Buffalo? Um, I re- uh, I'm trying to remember the times I went to Buffalo. Uh, Darien Lake a bunch of times walking through. Yep. Uh, going up to the Bills <laughs> Stadium. Freezing my, freezing my, my nuts Took off. off. My, freezing my nuts off at Bills Stadium the day after Christmas. Um... Yeah, no, never saw any of that. Did see the Bills uh, lose football games. They were probably script- yeah, they were scripted to lose. It's fine. Um, I I don't think it was scripted back then. I think they actually, you know, now it might be, but I don't know about back then. Here's a list of the World's Fairs. And all of them had the crazy ass architecture. All of them had this crazy architecture. And they okay. knocked all these buildings down. Most of them were built in two years. They were all knocked down six months later. Okay. It doesn't make any sense. No, I agree. It doesn't make sense. I, I'm I'm with you. You're you're wearing me you're wearing me down. <laughs> well, I gotta I gotta prove my point here. We kept going on the moon last week. I'm going to keep going on this. <laughs> well, I, I don't think I've convinced you yet, but uh, here's another video of the World's Fair. Well, hold on. Well, yeah. What, what yeah. are you trying to convince me of here? That our history is fake and gay? <laughs> <laughs> what is what, you laughing about? what does gay have anything to do with it for? <laughs> F- fake and dumb. Well, that's not... Okay. All right. When I was little, you'd call stupid things gay. I'm not attacking a fucking group. And if you're sensitive enough to think I'm attacking a group, then fucking go watch some other video. Here's 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 another video. It's very loud. Oh, and the lights, the lights, yo, there was so many lights in the Buffalo World's Fair that at, yeah. in these times, they were, the lights weren't a huge thing, and, and supposedly, in these times, and the lights were, there was like something like a million lights on like one building. You could probably see it from space. You live here. <laughs> That's where you live. There is no space. That's a dome that goes over our world. So, <laughs> do you know, supposedly, they built the Eiffel Tower for the Paris World Fair? Did you know that? Yeah, you, you told me this. They say, they say uh, Paris. That's where you want to go if you want to eat good food. The Thank Fren- you. The, f- the French haven't figured out. Well, I say go to Brazil if you want good food. Because the only real food is fruit. The only real food is eating off them booters. <laughs> Booties? <laughs> Hopefully they wiped. B- B- BBLs, uh, bro. BBLs. <laughs> oh, Jesus, dude. <laughs> Those are the stupid... Don't get B... Yo... Women, I care, ladies. I care. Stop getting butchered for looks. Yeah, it's that's retarded. True. That's true. I don't know if it's retarded. It's retarded. Speaking of, have you watched Love on a Spectrum? No, because it's probably Netflix or Hulu or one of those <laughs> for propaganda streaming sites. No, it's definitely Netflix, but it is very like. You know, I went I, I went into it with bad intentions. Like Spectrum? Yeah. Like I went into okay, it. Okay. No, listen, 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 listen. I went into it 
<laughs> with bad intentions. But halfway through the first season, I found myself. It's a fucking TV show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a series. Oh my God. The halfway through the first season, I found myself rooting for these people. Like, what do you mean rooting for them? What are they doing wrong? They're they're dating. They're they're dating. Okay, and like the it, it's so it's so pure, man. Like for these people, they, they you know they're not corrupted by uh, society, and it, like they, all they really want is love, man. And it's it's, <clears throat> you, I'm telling you, if you watch this show, you find it like you laugh at them, but you also laugh with them, and it's it's real. It's like I don't know, man. It's a really good TV show. <laughs> You just said these people are not corrupted by society. Right. But I will beg to argue that they are completely corrupted by society because the only reason why they are on the spectrum is because of whoever birthed them or seminalized the woman that birthed them Mm -hmm. was eating terrible shit and putting terrible shit on their bodies. And that's why their kid is on the spectrum because of society force feeding them horrible shit and them not knowing that they could go ahead potentially yes but that is also not their fault so I when i say they're not i mean they, they don't they don't have any ill intentions like everything they you know they do and how they act is pure man it's it's not you know there's no agendas there it's 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 really fun to watch and uh you know like, like like I said, I, I went I went to it with ill intentions to you know just have you know <laughs> it popped up. I was like, oh that look, that sounds funny. I'll throw that on. But half literally halfway through an episode or two, and I was like, I was genuinely emotionally invested in these in these guys and girls and like cheering for them and you know when they actually found love, I was you know it was nice to see, man. So nice. Sorry to go on a tangent there. <laughs> But season no, two is out, fine. so go go check it out. It's really fun to watch. <laughs> Back to the World's Fairs. <laughs> Back <laughs> that are freaking retarded. Thank you. Back to actual retarded shit. My eyes just keep crossing. I'm going a little crazy here. All right, so uh, here's another video. We're giving a photo with the airships in the background in the sky. So I went digging and found this photo from 1905, World's Fair in Oregon, showing more airships. And since I haven't really covered this topic yet on this channel, in my opinion, and a few others, this form of travel was all over the place. It wasn't just created in the 1800s, and the Hindenburg event was used as a scare tactic to make these airships look faulty, removing this free energy form of transportation technology out of our lives. Do you really think that they put a gas in these airships that would be so incredibly flammable and fly them over massive cities? Or does it make more sense that this Hindenburg event was a planned event to get rid of this free form of travel and wipe it from the history books? Here we have a photo of one of these airships sitting in between the two spires of the old world building. You can see that they use these spires to electrically charge these airships. And this was common knowledge. And in the very next photo, it's leaving the port. We are not given the truth about our history. This isn't something that we are ever told about in our mainstream schooling system all over the world. Do you find that odd? Let's keep digging. We see that the US Army had this technology in the 1800s, as well as the Navy. Now, this is a photo from July of 1931, and we clearly have an airship charging at the top of this building. So we have a lot going on here, and this was within the last 100 years, an airship charging at the top of this tower. Did you think they only charged at the top of buildings? Of course not. They had charging docks in the middle of the water. Here we have a photo of the U.S. Navy airship in 1924, charging from this boat. Now let's zoom in on this charging station to get a good look at what's going on here. Now this is a technology that we were never told about. This is hidden from our timeline, a clear proof that there is much more to the story than what we've been told, especially since this was not thousands of years ago. It shows how easily history can be rewritten. This technology should be common knowledge at this point. Here we have another angle in Rhode Island of the charging taking place. These airships were not powered by gas, or simply helium. And if we switch angles here, we can actually see the charging tool that was used right at the top of this tower. They're clearly about to connect to the airship. So this, in my opinion, is clearly explaining what's going on at the top of these old world buildings. They were charging stations for the airships. They have the same features, and I guarantee you that they still turn on, since this was not that long ago. And I'm going to take this time right now to answer a lot of people's questions. Will we ever find the truth? As we keep uncovering more and more documented evidence, we're going to find that the previous civilization was not that far in the past, and our current structures hold so much more technology than we ever truly understood. So in my opinion, 
Yes, we are going to find the truth about all of this. We are uncovering the truth faster and faster. And this community gets bigger and bigger with more and more people sharing their thoughts and knowledge. The mainstream <clears throat> history is becoming comedy out at this point. So we can clearly see that these buildings all around the world may have had a second purpose, but they were without a doubt here to generate free energy, specifically for airships. And once you realize this, then we can go deeper and ask the question, was the previous civilization capable of using these buildings to power their flight that were so much more powerful, so much faster, and so much more incredible than an airship? I believe that they fully understood this technology. They were the ones that constructed it. They had this technology and were able to travel through the air so much faster than we can today while using the Earth's natural energy. These buildings are technology. They are able to extract the energy and are able to turn it into a fuel. If you're looking for a why, a motive to suppress this technology, well, it would 100% benefit a civilization, us. It's free. There is zero benefit to free transportation, free energy. Do we need to go further for the why? So when you go around your town now and see the top of these buildings, we can all understand how popular this form of transportation really was. It was everywhere. <laughs> Um, you know, you had me until we got here to this. this so we got what? Till we got to this. So a couple things. Um, those are some really good photos. So much from 19, what do you say in the video? 1920. Early 1900s. <laughs> really good photos. Um, I know if I take a, uh, photo now with today's current, uh, technology, I can zoom in and not let it be just that distorted. Um, he's doing a really good job of that with that old photo. Also, I noticed a lot of those photos were from a, a downward angle, which means they would have had to be up on a, a higher airship to do so. Um, also, I, if I remember correctly, old hold on, photos being taken back then, you had to stand in place for a photo and freeze for a very long period of time um so that means those airships weren't moving at all even though they weren't connect some of them weren't connected to anything they were just frozen not moving um what else uh let's say those photos were real um and they were connected to the tops of the buildings what's to say they weren't just being docked there you know what i mean uh why do they have to be charging? I just you know, those are my thoughts that go through my head as as you show me this stuff. The World's Fair stuff, dude. Like I, on board, one hundred percent. It's very odd that those things would be built to that magnitude and that um, with that much detail and then torn down for no fucking reason. That makes no sense whatsoever. But this one, this is a tougher pill to swallow. But. You know, we 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 take we're eating a pizza here, and okay, this tastes good, and now I want to fucking you're throwing anchovies on this part of the pizza that makes it very <coughs> hard to to digest. You know, you you just put anchovies on my pizza. You know, we were having a nice dinner, me and you. It's almost Valentine. It's past Valentine's Day now. Uh, we're having a nice dinner, me and you, bud. We're having a good time here, and you're I can take a couple bites. I'm I'm into the pizza, and now you're throwing now you're throwing anchovies on it with some electrified airship. Shit. Air shit. <clears throat> Are you done? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Done talking about fucking pizza? So you think that they built all those buildings in two years. Mm -hmm. No, no. So so no, you're you're aware that there's no possible way they built those buildings in two years. And it's really weird that they knocked them down. So they clearly had technology to build those buildings. I think they And they're just lying to us about it. No, I think they could have built those buildings in two years. Absolutely. You just got done saying. I think it's weird that they the knocked it down for no. No, no, no. I said I think it's weird that they would knock them down after. For, Those for, buildings would take forever to build. They would not take two years. Sixty acres, sixty plus acres of those buildings they built in two years. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it's. Uh, I'm saying it's. But, it's very strange that they would do something like that. I'm saying it's possible for them to do that. It, it's not impossible, it, but it would take a lot. It's of impossible. Effort. Dude, it's impossible. I'm in construction. That's concrete, and you saw all the designs on the tops of the, the ceilings in that one building. There's no possible way they'd do that in two years. That's absolutely ridiculous. 100,000 workers couldn't do that in two years? 100,000 workers on horse and buggy building those buildings with no power tools? That's absolutely impossible. Okay. 100%. Then... You think that they don't have way better technology with cameras? You saw the moving walkways. I'll give you I'll show you more 
old tech I, where they I, had I electric s- cars and shit. I saw a picture of that something that looked like a ramp that you told me was a moving walkway. Hey, D. Yo. <laughs> What's up? Do you see this? Is, is the video on your screen? Yeah. All right, here you go. Did you know there was an electric moving sidewalk 123 years ago at the World's Fair in Paris? Stretching 543 acres along the Seine River, the grounds of the 1900 Exposition Universal were the biggest in history. And just like all the other World's Fairs, almost everything was destroyed afterwards, including this incredible electric moving sidewalk. It was elevated above the street on a 23-foot tall iron viaduct and consisted of three sections. One was stationary while the other ones moved continuously at three miles per hour and six miles per hour. The two and a half mile loop was constructed around the perimeter of the central square. Using the six miles per hour walkway allowed visitors to circumnavigate the square in roughly 25 minutes, all while standing still and sightseeing. The predecessor of this walkway was at an earlier Chicago World's Fair. Along the same route but moving in the opposite direction was an elevated railway system that visitors could use to get around more quickly. However, the electric walkway could accommodate up to 14,000 people at one time. On its busiest day, it carried 70,000 people in one afternoon. The gigantic scale of the exposition made it virtually impossible to see everything, which is why the Rue de Lavenir was so popular. It was both convenient and entertaining. One visitor described it as a giant wooden snake with its tail in its mouth. The Garboros of Paris, we're told that this structure was only temporary, but it had iron foundations just like the Eiffel Tower and many other masterpieces of architecture that were destroyed. Even the Eiffel Tower was supposed to be demolished. Most of these things would probably still be standing today and would be iconic landmarks like the Eiffel Tower turned out to be. These events are the plot holes of history. You really have to ask yourself, why would they destroy such amazing things? And why is it the same story all over the world? So they had technology. They obviously had way better cameras. So you don't think that they could have taken pictures of the airship from up higher than the airship when they have all of that technology? Also, also, I've already told you that those buildings are energy free energy buildings you don't think that those buildings could be charging the airships when that's where the free energy is coming from did i lose did i take the anchovies off your pizza are they still there um yeah no i i guess i guess so but (laughs) that would that would mean i 100 percent believe that those are energy buildings which i'm i don't no no you don't have to believe that they're energy buildings but that there's way more evidence and we will I, I will gather that and we will do it in another episode. Okay. Energy buildings. Yeah. Tesla talked about free energy all the time. But did they ever prove it was possible? Yeah, there's actual pictures of Tesla's free energy um, structures. I'll put one behind me. And it probably wasn't even Tesla's. Tesla probably stole it from the old world history. Do you want to see more old technology or would you like to move on? Let's move on. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you know um, the nickname for Chicago? Not the Windy City. They have another name for Chicago. Oh, yeah. Murder murder capital of the United States. <laughs> and Tef- it's funny because they, Tef- have, they, have the, they have the most gun control there, too. Teflon City. Because you got to bring a vest. No. Um, no. Do you want me to just tell you? Yeah, just tell me. I like my it's answer. Called the sec- it's called the Second City because there was a great fire. You've heard that story? Oh, I think you've told me this. It's So Chicago is called the Second City because all the buildings burnt down and they had to build a new city. Oh, and the yeah. Reason, yeah the reason that. why the buildings burnt down is because a cow tipped over a candle. Did you know that Chicago wasn't the only Second City? There was multiple fires. There was a fire in 1776 in New York, 1835 in Lower Manhattan, 1846 in Nantucket, 1866 in Portland, 1871. There was a massive fire that took out most of the Midwest. I Michigan, 1871. 
Uh, Boston, 1872. I once. Peshtigo, 1872. I once knew a man from Nantucket. Seattle, 1879, San Francisco, 1906, and a West Coast fire that took out 3 million acres in 1910. Fires fires are bad. No. These aren't... No? These the No, fires are bad, yes. But these aren't our kind of fires where they're shooting lasers at trees and shit and starting wildfires like in California and shit. They're destroying these cities because they need to destroy the buildings. Get rid of just the, like the world, just like the world's fairs. Get rid of the evidence. That's what you're saying. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Fire is a good way to go, man. If you're gonna get rid of evidence. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that all those world's fires happened though? You know my favorite thing about a fire. You're not answering my question. What's that? You can make pizza. S'mores. I was just wrong on what type of food he'd be talking about. Did you ever hear of these World's Fairs? Uh, the World's Fairs? Ever yes. in your life? Yes, I've heard of no, the no, World's no. Fairs. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Of the Great Fires of, in all these cities. <clears throat> no, I did not. You only heard about the cow tipping over a candle in Chicago, I didn't right? hear about the cow tipping. <laughs> but I did hear about the, the Chicago Fires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. heard, heard of that. Yep. Uh, most people didn't know about these fires. I didn't know about these fires. Right. That were most people. They don't tell us. They hide our history. Our our history is fake. And this is our s- and gay. Our history has been completely falsified. We have This is the second part of these of these videos. Right. Do you think that we're done on part 2? No, cuz we have a ton more we need to rewrite the textbooks because our entire history is bullshit. So how do we how do we get to the bottom of this? I want answers. I'm getting you to it. the bottom. I of want it. answers, damn it. No. Do research. And most of our history books are probably locked up in the Vatican. We need to storm the Vatican. No, we need to delete the motherfuckers in the vatican yeah but we could, and just get our books back if we storm the vatican we could see what's really in there yeah man you so wanted to storm area 51 didn't you i was emotionally i was there with them i wanted that to happen We're, yeah you had the plunger in your hand and everything so the 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 great tartaria which is on this map behind me great tartary um and their flag we're gonna do a whole episode on them and it will go side and side with the mud floods and today's episode that will be the next one we'll do that next not next week but the next rewrite the textbooks we will do tartary great tartarians do you put that on fried fish tartary sauce Eat an apple, bro, please. Yeah. I thought you were going to try the all fruit thing for three days, and you never did it. I got to day one, and it was really hard, man. No, you started on day one, woke up, and you lasted five minutes until you cracked open a fucking Red Bull or some bullshit. Oh, shit. Is coffee a fruit? Can I have coffee on fruit? I I. If coffee was the word, if if you were if you were to eat only fruit for three days, yeah. and you just drank coffee in the mornings, I'd call it a win. But no processed sugar in your coffee. Yeah, I can drink black coffee. Yeah, just do three days and let me know how you feel, bro. La- the first, yeah, the first time I tried uh, even the carnivore diet going um sugar free dude those first three days i felt like i was detox like it was the worst man no process no sugar oh my god so you probably have to do more than three days to actually feel good but dude you remember what i how i used to be yeah i remember when we first time when we were when you moved to san diego and we were hiking you were fucking running up the mountain, and I was sluggishly walking behind you. What happened in Sedona? Um, 
I was running up the mountain and I was like, come on, Joe, you can do it, bud. Don't give up on me. You were tired. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about with oh, me. No, you were running up the mountains. Yeah. You smoked me. You smoked me, you son of a bitch. No, no, I'm not even I'm not even saying it like that. I'm saying look how what I used to be and look what I yeah, am dude. now because I eat only fruit. Yeah. Well, you're also like more than half your weight. That that helps. Or less than half of your weight. I'm <laughs> you know what I mean? I was three fifty. I'm I'm I've been working out so I'm back up to one eighty, but Okay. I lost I lost more weight than I weigh now. Cause I lost hundred and ninety pounds. Right. That's what I'm saying. I gained like twenty of it back. That's what I'm saying, dude. You were, you know, what I mean, you were double your size. Of course, you're gonna be slow. But that's not. It's because it's because I changed what I'm putting in my body. I'm working on it, but you know, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not, working on it. I just, I, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I will. I'll try your little fruity diet, man. I'll try it. I'll try your fruity diet. Fruity I'll diet. try your fruity diet. I love pineapple, though, and you told me that's not good for me. It's the worst fruit for you. No, 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 no. Kiwi is, but pineapple, this is what Dr. Sebi says. Mm. Pineapple is bad for you because it tears up your stomach lining if you eat too much of it. Oh. If you ate pineapple instead of a dead fucking cow, the pineapple is still way better for I don't you. Oh, man, that dead cow. Oh, got a hold on me. <laughs> I used to have a hold on me. Yeah, hold on me, bro. <laughs> We're gonna do another food episode. Okay. And last last time we did a food episode, you said you were worried that I was gonna play some videos that you weren't ready to see. Oh, we're playing those fucking videos okay. next time. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be very uncomfortable, even for me, because I don't want to see that shit. Okay. Oh. We're gonna I'm gonna show you how hot dogs are made, bro. I don't like I mean I do enjoy hot dogs, that's a lie. <laughs> Hot dogs are delicious, dude. Oh, bro. Oh, my God. What? What? <laughs> Sonoran dogs? Oh, man. I don't even know what that so is. So it's an it's a Arizona, Tucson uh, local favorite. Uh, it's a hot dog wrapped in bacon and a soft uh, bun. And then they... They add beans and then mayo and uh, pico. Oh, man. I might I might go down to Tucson. Give me a, give me a snoring dog. Did you know humans are the only species on Earth that drinks another species milk? I did. That's really weird for me. I think that's strange. I don't, I'm not, I don't do dairy too much anymore, except for cheese. I love cheese. How do we get on food? Why are we, why are we talking about food, man? God, it's I'm all you ever, it's all, on, it's not even, it's food. all you ever want to talk about is food. Dead animals. Jesus it's Christ, Joe. Food. Why do you it's constantly bring food. up things to get us talking about food all the time? This fucking guy. My mistake is I'm always like, my mistake is I'm always like, oh, you brought up food again. You're not even bringing up food. You've never brought up food. You bring up dead animals or processed trash that is has zero nutrients for you at all. I, Except for when you brought up the durian that time. Which smells like trash. All right, Joe. I see your little uh, history is fake and retarded. Yeah, I want to know what, what you think of this episode. Um, I think it's it's very odd for them to build buildings like that just to tear them down so shortly after. So there might be something there. Okay, they may have been there prior. I'll give you that. Um, do I think it's possible for them to have bu built them in two years? Yes, absolutely. Um, but it's it'd be so strange to do all that, waste all that effort and manpower just to rip them down. Uh, the whole electric flying airships, you lost me there. The Hindenburg is a real thing that, that blew up. Yes, I've heard of blimps. I, I, I know what a blimp is, but an electric airship. They call it a blimp, dude. It's not... Okay. They have the Goodyear blimp. They still fly that bitch, bro. It's not electric. That's a blimp, though. Right. So, uh, but like I'm saying, you lost me with the electric airship. So if you can figure something out to give some actual proof on that, other than some guy talking in a TikTok video, um, I'll be willing to listen. I'll entertain it because I love new information. So 
It's, it's got to be like Bill Gates saying it on video, huh? Not just not just some regular person that's Ooh. actually doing research to find the truth out. When have I ever showed you anything on Bill Gates or believed anything that man has? You said? just said proof, and this dude showed you multiple pictures of it that they're all around the world's fair. Photo, yeah. Anyway, Photoshop is fine. Real. You're right. <laughs> Photoshop is real. Okay. So, but he got these. You could you could find these pictures online from the world's no, fairs photos. Do you know what else I can find online? Probably food or something. Anything you want because the internet is. I mean, you can put anything on the internet. There's there's an, a website that shows my picture, um, on Barack Obama's face, and I am the president of the United States on the internet. No. What I'm telling you is these pictures can be found where the World's Fair's pictures can be found. Okay. It's not a random dark web internet Photoshop job is what I'm telling you. Okay. Hey, D. Yeah, Joe. Godspeed. 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 I'll see you soon, buddy. You've reached the offices of the Godspeed podcast. We are currently closed. Please leave your information and someone will return your call within 24 business days. Thank you. Hey guys, great video, but I've got a number for a really great therapist also, if you ever want to go that route.